So now that we've a solid and clear understanding on the basic aspects of program evaluation, time now is to strengthen our knowledge by discussing more advanced topics surrounding evaluation. So in this part of module one, we will analyze the difference between evaluation and research, which is another widely debated topic in program evaluation. Given both, and both research and evaluation involve somewhat similar method to gather data, systematically analyze them, the two fields of knowledge are often confused. So the key learning objectives in this part of our lecture is simple, to understand the difference between research and evaluation. To begin with, we ask a basic question. Research and evaluation, same or different? And we hear alternative theorization among practitioners and scholars. So in general, there are four schools of thought that exist within this debate, uh, whether research and evaluation are same or different. So we'll go through each of these four one, on, one by one and we'll try to understand them a little better so that our conceptualization on evaluation becomes even clearer. The first theorization or the schools of thought um, on the difference between research and evaluation is evaluation is seen as a subsection of research. And this is premised on the, on the belief that doing evaluation always requires doing research. However, doing research does not necessarily require doing evaluation. So to elaborate this concept, we see that in every evaluation, there is some functions of research that are available. For instance, um, when you do um, select the methodology like qualitative or quantitative, you need some research. When you go through sample and um, collecting the right data set, that also involves research. So in essence, doing an evaluation would always require doing some research. But in other words, when you do research, you don't need any evaluation is the main goal of research is either to prove a hypothesis or to create new knowledge. So in essence, evaluation is only a subsection of research. Now theory two or the school of thought two, this is premised on the belief that research is a subsection of evaluation. And this is premised on this belief that research, which is gathering empirical evidence, is one of the tasks that is involved in doing an evaluation. Now, if we elaborate this, we may think it in this way, that in every evaluation, research is ingrained in it, because to do the evaluation, you do need to do all the functions of research. So. Uh, the proponents of this theory believes that research is a merely a function of the, of the broader paradigm of evaluation and gathering empirical evidence, which is the only part which research covers. Other tasks that are involved in, in, this, um, in this belief is that clarifying or negotiating the primary intended users, uh, identifying key evaluation questions, negotiating resources to answer the questions, supporting the findings. And these are all part of the evaluation, but research part is only about selecting the right methodology, um, analyzing the data, and so on and so forth. The third school of thought, which is research and evaluation are not mutually exclusive and this is based on the understanding that research and evaluation sees them as entirely two unrelated variables that are not mutually exclusive. So look at it in this way. So uh, what it means is that an activity can be both research and evaluation or neither. Research is about being empirical, whereas evaluation is about drawing evaluative conclusion about quality, merit or worth. What's the next one? So the next one is 
premised on the belief that research and evaluation are two different areas. And this is where majority of the scholars, they avoided saying that research and evaluation are two distinct and mutually exclusive categories. Um, and this is in fact the common ways to think about research and evaluation. Um, so research is seen as more interested in producing generalizable knowledge, more theoretical, more controlled by the researchers, whereas evaluation is seen as more interested in specific and applied knowledge and mostly controlled by the funding or commissioning of the evaluation projects. So to understand this, the difference between research and evaluation even better, we put forth this table which shows the difference between these two on and various um, from various perspective. Firstly, as you can see, research seeks to prove. Now, this is the one that I like most about the distinction between these two, which provides a rather simple way to look at these two. Firstly, research seeks to prove, whereas evaluation seeks to improve. Research seeks to generate new knowledge, whereas evaluation seeks to generate information for decision making. Research is mainly focused towards the researcher, whereas evaluation is focused towards mainly the stakeholders. Uh, a research makes recommendation to propose new knowledge and sometimes also to prove hypothesis, whereas evaluation makes recommendation to improve the policy and procedure. Research is based on scientific inquiry and intellectual curiosity, whereas evaluation is based on policy and program interest of the stakeholders. So most researches are done within a control setting, whereas evaluation is conducted within setting of changing actors, priorities, resources, and timelines. And finally, uh, research advances broad knowledge and theory, whereas evaluation provides information for decision-making on specific program. So thus, we see research and evaluation as two closely related fields with overlapping ideas and theorization but in essence the the objective of both of these two different fields are much different than one another and oftentimes it depends on the uh, key objectives that are set out by the researcher or evaluator as well some references here as well just for the learners to explore more and I suggest learners to explore this topic in more detail because this is a very um, important uh, discussion and in order to become a veteran evaluator I think this is very important for the learners to understand the difference between these two. Thank you for listening to the lecture too.